a bridge needed between those those two payment mechanisms. Uh, and that's where, of course, something like XRP could come in because the um, fast transactions, and the, the low cost elements. It's music to my ears to hear you say that because I remember watching a speech from Chris Larson, who was one of the, uh, he was brought on by Jeb McCaleb to be the CEO of Ripple, the company uh, years ago. And their whole vision was about essentially creating an apparatus, a trustable apparatus where you could send value around the world globally. But I truly do think that a technology like XRP, I mean, it was designed to literally enable this. And I think there's a, definitely a crossover between a technology like XRP, a cryptocurrency like XRP. There's many others out there, for example, ISO 20022 compliant cryptos include XRP, Cardano, Quant, Algorand, Stellar, Hedera, IOTA, XDC, and there's more out there. But there's definitely, I think, a crossover between these standards for financial messaging and them actually being perhaps used to facilitate trade.